Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we'll show how to query entries on a form using REST API and test HTTP client. As usual, we'll use the template where request number one, defined here, performs a logging and grabs a token. And the last request uh, does a logout also using that token. And in between, we'll do a few more requests. Initially, we'll start by creating some entries in this form. And we'll reuse this information. This is v1.0. We'll continue reusing the authorization header. And we'll also need to add a content type. And the entry we'll create will have uh, will be a JSON object, value scheme, pointing to another object that has its meter as demo, and also a short description. We'll save it, we'll clear a console, and execute test HTTP client. And add the debug flag. Let's make sure the request is built. Okay, we build a post, and that's created. And we know that's request number 12. So, now let's uh, see if we can query using this text, chicken or lamb. So instead of doing a post, what I'm going to do is a get, and we'll continue reusing the authorization header, but not the content type or the payload. And at the end of this uh, URL, I'll add a query string that will be q equals short description. I'll put in between quotes lamp and that's the query string format if we were using uh, it on advanced search bar on meter but we need to URL encode it to be usable in REST API Notepad++ has a nice filter a nice plugin for that under MIME tools URL encode and you'll see that certain characters like the space and the percent or the quotes has been encoded. So I'll save these, clear the console, and run that program again. And what we see is this get with the URL encoded query. We're getting a 200 status, and we're getting our entry back. I'll do this a little bit different so you can see the response. If we say instead of lamb, we say, for example, pasta. And we know we don't have any request with pasta in the short description, so I'm expecting no entries returned. And this is the query. We're getting a 200, but look at the entries response. It's completely empty. And if you want to perform more complex uh, operations, you can do parentheses or and or all that, but consider that you would need to use something like this to URL encode these special characters. Thank you for your time.